गुड मॉर्निंग गाइज सो इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू बी टेकिंग यू गाइज थ्रू माई फुल डे ऑफ ईटिंग बट फर्स्ट थिंग्स फर्स्ट आई वुड लाइक टू मेक क्लियर इज करेंटली इट इज मॉर्निंग एंड आई एम स्टिल फास्टेड I am going to be fasted up till two o'clock or three o'clock, and I do that primarily because I like the mental acuity and the and the productivity that I am able to accrue in the morning, and I like that very much. So, guys, because of that, I usually don't eat anything in the morning, and I'll pro- primarily push my meals later on in the day. The other thing that I am currently doing is I am going on a cut. so because of which i am going to be showing you a diet that is on a caloric deficit i am currently eating on a caloric deficit so that i can get into the best shape of my life the third thing that i would like to remind you guys is because my digestion is a bit fucked up currently i have lowered my proteins and i have lowered my fibers so i have removed the veggies from my diet until and unless i get to the state of homeostasis where i feel good and nice and where i am able to digest the food uh, nicely again until then i am going to be lowering my proteins my veggies and uh, a bit of my carbohydrates with it as well so guys with that being said guys i am going to see you guys so so the only thing so the only thing that i usually consume during the morning is going to be a cup of coffee because once again black coffee literally has zero calories and the other thing that i'm going to be doing here, no milk is needed in the black coffee let me make it very clear here you do not use milk in the black coffee and the other thing that we are going to be adding on onto this diet model is creatine these are the only two things that i primarily use in the morning so up till then i am going to see you when on my coffee break so guys now i have my coffee with me as you guys can see here I have a cup of coffee with me here and this is like literally my morning routine where even after my workouts I come here I sit here I calm myself for a bit and then the first thing that I'm going to be doing here is I usually read a book because once again like I said the most amount of learnability that you have is in the morning so don't waste that opportunity so currently I've been reading this thinking fast and slow by Daniel Kahneman it's about system 1 and system 2 thinking but i'm not going to go on a tangent there so yeah this is what i literally do up till like 2 or 3 this is the only thing that i use as a appetite suppressant because guys coffee works wonders when you are talking about suppressing your appetite i literally do not feel even a bit of hungry until like 2 or 3 i can even push it a bit farther on in a, uh, for a few days if i actually want to do that so yeah this is going to be my basic coffee drink and i'll see you during my main meal so yeah so guys this is literally the last meal of uh, sorry this is literally my my first meal and i usually don't eat it this bland i i will usually add some veggies or at least i'll eat it with some carbohydrates but yeah because my digestion is all out of whack right now and i'm feeling like i am feeling a massive amount of indigestion in me right now so yeah i am going to be going lower on protein so this chicken is around like 300 grams or something like that i have added very basic condiments to it now you guys can always spice it up even more you guys can always go for more pizzazz into it but because i want to just eat it and i want to hit my protein goal for the day i am going to just be going with a basic chicken so yeah like this is very basic condiments that i have used here which i'll also add in the description below but yeah this is the chicken that i'm going to be consuming for my first meal as you guys can see here and with that being said guys yeah i am going to start eating it now and as for the second meal i am going to be showing you how i cook the meal and everything and so guys i'll see you in the second meal so guys with that being said this is literally going to be the last meal of our day it's going to be five whole eggs as you guys can see here and five slices of white bread and once again the only reason why i'm eating this basic is because i kind of have i kind of have been having digestion issues 
but you don't have to eat it this way because once again like you can actually enjoy it like you can actually cook something that you are going to thoroughly enjoy i would recommend that you go for a french toast or something like that it's much more enjoyable that way and it's much more satiating one more thing guys if you are on a higher caloric deficit then what i would recommend is instead of going for whole eggs go for egg whites because egg whites add volume and vo the, and the only the protein as opposed to the fat content that is going to be added so add more egg whites to your diet and you are going to enjoy it much more so with that being said guys now let's cook the meal So as you guys can see here this is the second last meal of my day which I am going to be consuming at uh, it around like 5 or 5:30 uh, so guys yeah this is once again a very basic meal i would definitely recommend that you go for something that you genuinely enjoy and yeah so like let's dive in. But, but believe me when i say this like even this meal i genuinely enjoy it i genuinely enjoy the taste of whole eggs i genuinely love white bread i like i don't have any problem with this meal but if you would like to add more pizzazz to it if you would like to jazz it up a bit you should definitely go ahead and do that so guys we are going to be moving on to the last meal of our day and to be seriously honest i actually enjoy all of the meals throughout my day i do not like to eat very sucky meals at all so moving on to the last meal i thoroughly enjoy this meal and if i do not enjoy any of my meals i get really bitchy and one of the things that i've noticed throughout the years that i've been dieting i need to have meals or you need to have meals that you enjoy so that you can stick to it long term otherwise it just goes into the yo yo spiral so let's move on to the last meal which is going to be our proteins milk which we are going to use and then we have our chocos i love this shit i love chocos and finally we will be moving on to our oats so yeah now guys i used to track my meals but now that i am at the point where i have tracked my meals for so long i don't usually feel the need to track them anymore so all i'll do is i'll just ballpark it and let's see where, where it takes us so yeah i'll probably go for one cup of milk which is going to be around 250 ml or something like that so as you guys can see here this is literally just a cup of milk and this is what i'm going to be going for and then we are going to add it in this fucking cup like i have to literally baby like <laughs> i have lit i literally have to take you through each and every single step so what that is what i'm going to be doing here now this is a cup of milk uh, bring the camera a bit near now the next thing that we are going to add to this is going to be some oats so like i am going to uh, ballpark it around 80 to 100 grams otherwise guys i usually measure it with this machine but now that i am not using this machine because i don't track a lot anymore so i'm just going to be ballparking it so one spoon weighs it around 20 to 40 grams or some shit like that so yeah so it's like 40 grams in here i'm going to add two more spoons 60 and it will take us to 80 grams so this is going to be 80 grams of oats which now we are going to take it to the microwave and we are going to add it in the microwave so follow with me so guys i'll primarily add it here for like 2 and 1/2 minutes or so not more than that you don't need to overcook it they taste very soggy and then you don't have fun eating it so don't over overcook it or don't cook it at after more than 2 minutes 30 seconds or so don't fuck it up so yeah 
I'm super hungry right now. Let's fucking eat this shit up. Let's move on to the meal, guys. Let's move on to the fucking meal. So I'm not going to be showing you to the whole clip, but yeah, once it gets cooked, I'll move on to the meal and I'll show you how I prepare it. It's super simple. It's super fucking fun. So yeah. <sighs> Look at this guys, this is how it should actually be cooked so that you can actually enjoy it and it's not too soggy but it tastes super fucking good when you add a scoop of protein to it so uh, yeah follow me around. So yeah when you add a scoop of protein to it guys this is where literally the magic happens so yeah I uh, primarily because I push my carbs later on towards the day so yeah i am going to i am going to be adding as you guys can see two scoops of protein in this this is going to be one heaping scoop and i am going to be adding one more scoop here fucking hell man fucking hell yeah so this is i am going to be adding two scoops of protein here and then now we mix the oats with the protein and then we are going to add uh, our chocos to it so yeah once you mix the protein with oats it's going to look super sexy or maybe it might not look super sexy but it tastes super sexy So yeah, the end result is somewhat going to be like this. But guys, believe me, it tastes super amazing. Plus when you add ch uh, chocos to it, it literally tastes like dessert. Now, if you guys are wondering how is he eating so many carbs at once, Guys, one thing that you have to realize is I am fasting till 3 o'clock or 4, 2 o'clock, at least till 2 o'clock. So but when I am fasting that much, what happens is like I am not consuming any carbs or any proteins or anything like that. And I primarily push my carbs towards the night because it gives me that satisfactory feeling. And when I push my protein towards the night, it gives me that satisfactory feeling and I feel really full and yeah when i'm sleeping i like to feel full because yeah then i can go to sleep like a fucking baby which everyone every single one of us out out there wants it now once again even with the chocos because i've tracked it for so long i'm going to be ballparking it i'm going to be going for at least 60 grams or 70 grams of chocos so here it is So yeah, here it is, it's around 60 to 70 grams. But if you guys are actually confused and if you guys have never done the tracking thing before guys, I would highly recommend that you track with this machine or with any weighing scale because what's ha what happens mostly is like if you are not tracking your meals you have no fucking idea how much you are putting into the body but once again if you have put in as much time as i have put in yeah then it gets really simple so guys let's let's eat this meal and let me give you the review of this meal so so guys look at this beautiful chocolatey concoction that i have made here it looks super fucking awesome and i am going to actually taste test it and let you guys know how it actually taste so yeah it tastes like super fucking heaven guys if you are not already consuming this meal get on it it tastes super fucking awesome so with that being said guys i'm going to be ending my full day of eating here if you guys actually enjoyed this show some love actually like the video even if you don't want to comment just like the video it actually gives a huge boost to the algorithm so yeah if you haven't already then like the video subscribe to my channel until next time see you guys